Hello everyone and welcome to game three in this best of three series between Kaz and Mana here on Shakura's Plateau. Kaz spawning as the blue Terran player and, and saying, uh, um, Kaz saying totally countered your build and still lose. So sad, but um, I really think that um, Kaz just wasn't, <laughs> that just means I play better. Okay, so both players really, really, I thought there'd be a little bit um, more trash talking, but really straight up and really stand up, um, really stand up talk. Um, <laughs> okay, between these two, Kaz now just starting to, um, both of these players are apparently Kaz just mad at Mana saying that he just A clicked with his army, but Mana really just caught his opponent off guard with those Psy Storms and dealing a lot of damage with those Psy Storms, initially softening up the Marauders and the Marines and then following up with Colossi. That really was the problem there. Also, Mana deciding to come in and attack from a different angle with those colossi as opposed to always going up against that planetary fortress that really was the issue both sides and um, now should be able to get up a very long macro game here on shakura's plateau shakura's plateau a larger map that it does force um not cross spawns but east versus west spawns here and because it is not close by air it is going to be full cross spawns now as we see a probe making its way across the map will be popping up here in just a moment and then figuring out where his opponent has not spawned. Kaz is opening up with one barracks. It looks like he will be following it up with a fast command center once more and looking to really just out expand his opponent. Back over here, you can see that the Nexus is is just training up more and more units you can see the cybernetics core a very standard build from mana as we now see a probe simply coming up the ramp there is a supply depot already here it may have a wall off in just a little bit but the probe is going to get all the information it needs just by determining that there is no gas supply depot was raised now being lowered once again scv is coming around to join in on the fight it looks like the probe will just get taken down and mana knew that he pretty much could not escape with that probe by not escaping with that probe, he just wanted to perhaps do a little bit of harassment, get some damage onto some SCVs, or perhaps force SCVs to come off the mineral line and fight back against that one probe there. But nothing really came of it. We can see that Kaz already expanding at his natural expansion at the four minute or well before the four minute mark as Kaz looking to perhaps build up a bunker or two or maybe even three and also setting up an engineering bay making sure that a nexus will be delayed. Now off of this you can see one stalker already making its way out. The nexus is just oh, sorry the engineering bay just being built. It looks like it will sit there and just be a thorn in Mana's side for quite some time. And the real the real interesting question is going to be, is Mana going to do a one base push? Or is he going to try to do some sort of two base pressure? Um, getting up two base pressure will mean that he is going to be slightly behind economically speaking. Just because this engineering bay is preventing any nexus we can see that there are double assimilators off over here a gateway and a gateway gateway over here so it looks like we are going to be going into a four gate timing with double gas so a four gate timing with double gas that means a lot of stalkers could be added and now that means marines need to be um really need to be trained up we are finally going into a refinery but there are no bunkers on this front door and kaz if he's not suspecting or if he doesn't get a lot of just defense here to add to or for those marines he is gonna have a really really bad day pylon now warping in down over here it looks like he will be able to get some reinforcements in just a moment as we are gonna have two quick rounds of units this pylon will be completed in just a second another pylon needs to be added and it takes one pylon to to essentially warp in four units off of these warp gates so a second pylon needs to be added as well otherwise he will be supply blocked there are some zealots and perhaps even some stalkers coming in or is he gonna actually go for a nexus that would be a rather strange play right now as he has invested very heavily into into this um four gate pressure 
bunkers now being established on the front door. Only one, though, as we are now seeing sentries and stalkers um, making their way out. Another group of units, another round of units should be coming in. There is some stalkers now warping in as well. Another pylon needs to be added. Mana is going to be supply blocked um, as well as the another pylon should be added over here to get those reinforcements slightly closer. You can see that the pylon only takes 25 seconds to build. Now getting in that second pylon as a stalker is on the front door. We do see double bunkers here. And now adding in a supply depot as well, limiting the surface area on these units. You can see that there is no nexus. So Mana is essentially all inning with this attack force, knowing that he's going to be behind economically if he doesn't deal the necessary damage. You can see now a very large army coming in from Mana. There are a decent number of sentries as well. Guardian shields may make a big difference as that additional plus two armor. And now in comes some more zealots again. So up to 64 over 66. The zealots are going to lead the way. The stalker is going to be right behind. And here we go. Here we go. Kaz now not quite ready to defend against this attack as the sentries are pushing in. There's the force field. And Kaz may be in trouble. One bunker goes down. A second bunker now going to fall. All the units fighting. Another guardian shield now being forced to go up here as the marines are fighting up against the zealots no additional warp ins coming in behind even though there should be plenty of warp in time and now scv is trying to come down the mineral line kaz was not suspecting this whatsoever another force field could be coming in as the marines are going to be fighting back in come the scvs there's the guardian shield the force field not quite in the right location as the stalkers are now coming in as well harvester count 20 workers already killed mana doing a great job completely catching Kaz out of position. And I believe Mono should be able to come out ahead here as another force field on the ramp prevents any more Marauders from um, doing anything. And there is the GG. So perhaps Mana a little bit upset at the trash talk in the early portion of the game and just decided to let it all let it all come down to this third and final game here being very aggressive not allowing his opponent to establish that natural expansion and with only one bunker no units on the low ground really suspecting anything the all the sentries stalkers and zealots simply walked inside the base and took the victory thanks for watching thanks for listening